guys happy vlogmas day <laughs> what day is it happy vlogmas day 11 i am vlogging today i haven't really been uploading a lot of vlogs this season i know mama i've honestly just been uh, filming a lot of sit down videos and it's been whoa why are you so needy today oh my gosh hold on i know it's okay she has been like in my arms like this all morning like literally all week honestly i don't know what her problem is what you meow for attention and then you don't want to be on what's going on help so like i was saying before Haley really interrupted me um i've been filming a lot of sit down videos and spending my days editing so i haven't really been doing much for the past week and a half but Today I filmed a video early this morning and I edited it, edited it and now it's uploading to YouTube. It's currently 11.34 a.m. so I have cat hair on my lip. Thank you for that. It's 11.34 so I actually finished today's video really early. I took a day off from filming and editing because I had an extra day of footage and I wish I had it because I kind of put me behind. So, I'm vlogging today, and then this obviously will go up tomorrow. How's everyone doing? How's everyone enjoying Vlogmas? Is everyone else overwhelmed with, like, the overload of content their YouTubers are uploading? I know that a lot of content creators are feeling overwhelmed. I haven't even watched anyone else's Vlogmas videos yet, just because I literally spend from the moment I wake up and the moment I go to bed filming and editing kind of sad that's the bag i was filming the asos haul will be up later today and this little one can i help you are you purring what's going on oh now you're quiet when the camera's on you Haley. Hey. there she is when the camera's not on her she meows hi welcome back Side note, you guys need to try this. This drink is so freaking good. This is the San Pellegrino Italian Sparkling Water, I guess, or drink. It's not really water. It's more like a juice. It's lemon and raspberry flavor, and it's so freaking good. I buy these every week when I order my groceries, and I'm obsessed with this. I got my e.l.f. Black Friday order a couple days ago. The box is so messed up, but I've been saving like some of the contents to show you guys and i'm finally get to show you what i got so some of the things i already opened because i wanted to try them out and use them but i've been keeping everything in this little box they were having the most insane black friday sale everything was super affordable which is crazy because elf is already super affordable this one is their rose water bite size eyeshadow and the colors are so nice Look how gorgeous these colors are. So freaking pretty. I cannot wait to wear these shades, specifically that one. So gorgeous. And then I picked up this one, inspired by my niece, Julie. If you're watching this, you inspire me to get this. I already messed up the little eyeshadow with my nail. But I thought this was so fun. And my favorite color is royal blue. And my niece's favorite color is blue as well. So I was inspired to get this to try a new look with that blue eyeshadow. I probably would just use it as eyeliner, but I thought this was such a cute little palette. Oh, and before I forget, this is their Carnival Candy um, Bite Size Palette. And then this one is the Pumpkin Pie one. Focus. This is their Pumpkin Pie one. And I got this because it honestly reminded me of fall. And even though winter's around the corner, I'm still obsessed with fall. I've already been using it. In the ASOS haul video that is going up today, I actually have a makeup look using this little palette. And it's gorgeous. The perfect, like, brown and orangey shades. And these were, like, a dollar and fifty cents and they're originally only like three dollars so super freaking affordable and really nice and then i picked up a new blush and highlighter set i don't know the name of this one but i'll have it linked below if i can find it so this is the blush and this is the highlighter 
I'm not 100% sold on the highlighter. I feel like it can be a little bit better, but for the price, like, am I really going to complain? But I love the blush. I think the blush is so pretty, and I've been trying to get back into using more blush, so super cute. Oh, no, I shouldn't have been doing this on the bed. Oh my gosh, of course, I got makeup on the bed. I have to go clean that ASAP. And then I replaced my Rosco Sunset palette with a new one. You guys know how much I love this little palette. I think it's perfect for everyday makeup. So I restocked on that. And then I got this brow comb and brush to fix my eyebrows. They are hot mess. And then I stocked up on lip glosses. I actually bought one more in addition to these three but it's already in circulation and i restocked on my mocha twist i literally got three mocha twist lip glosses and then i'm trying out a new one called this one is called pink sugar so i'm going to try it out and see it looks like it'll be like a pretty clear one but we'll see and then i restocked on my foundation even though i want to try a new foundation so this is the flawless finish foundation and then this is a lip exfoliator did i say that right but i really like it so far i've used it a couple times and it smells delicious I'm going to keep using it, and if it works long term, I'll let you guys know. And I really like how sleek the packaging is. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all I bought. Yeah. New makeup. You done? found this gem at Marshalls today. It was only $16.99 for $32. And they're recyclable, which is awesome. Yay. Our groceries came in and this is what we got. Not a lot of stuff, but it was still like 100, how much was this, like 120? But we restocked on some pantry essentials. I restocked on some soy sauce, chickpeas. I literally eat these every day, so needed to restock. Got some pasta sauce for whenever I'm feeling lazy. Spaghetti. And I saw this online. I was like, you know what? I want to try it. I love so delicious. I love all of their products, so I wanted to give this a try tonight. And then... This was also new, so I decided to give it a try when, again, I'm feeling lazy and I just want like a guilty pleasure snack. And we're actually making tacos tonight, so I'm going to use these. I really like these. I do season it on top of how it's already seasoned, but it's really good. I also got the Beyond Meat sausages. This is a lot of like processed food. I normally don't get so much, but... I've been needing like guilty pleasures or just snacks for when I don't want a big meal and I want something small. And then for the healthy stuff, we got quinoa, almonds, pistachios, asparagus, garlic, green pepper. We got some lettuce for our tacos tonight, olives, creme brulee coffee. You guys saw the huge thing of pumpkin spice coffees that I found at Marsha's today so stocked up for coffee for weeks and got two avocados a red pepper oranges kale got a coconut whip topping this is my absolute favorite this big thing of broccoli florets and then my favorite drink right now which is the san pellegrino momenti this is the pomegranate and black currants drink or flavor and i love this so these are our groceries for the week so when we got the grocery order this was in the order and i'm 100 percent sure that i didn't order goldfish i haven't had these since freaking elementary school but i started 
making dinner so we were having tacos and i realized that we didn't get our tortillas that we ordered so my husband is now going to the little stores around our apartment to see if they carry either hard shell or flour tortillas for tacos this is the downside of ordering from amazon for groceries sometimes it's just better to go in person i also just had like an allergic reaction to something and my eye is bothering me so much so i had to take off my makeup my nose is stuffy for some reason <laughs> and yeah so friday night is going well so far 